open a light motion and click plus button and there select the resolution you want click on create project now select the video you want to edit keep the video at the beginning and click here now click on current frame as png and save it now go to snap edit app if you don't have that app, I will mention the link in the description. Now click on remove object. And here click on lasso tool. And select the whole tower. And once you finish selecting, click on remove. It will remove the object. Now save this image. Now go back and select the same image. And click on remove BG. And select the image. Erase unwanted area from the image. Now save the file. Undo this. Erase the bottom of the tower. Save this part. And undo again. Now erase the top part of the tower. And now you will have two PNG images. Save this also. And go to Alert Motion. And select the image without tower. Now adjust the clips accordingly. Now select the bottom part of the tower. Adjust where you want to have an animation. Select the tower like, like 20 milliseconds for move and transfer. And add these keyframes. Now go to the beginning. Click on move and transform. Add the tower layer to top. It disappears. And it's done. Now select the top part of the tower and follow the same process. Add keyframes, go to the beginning of the layer and drag it down. And now you will have this animation. And to hide this layer, click on plus button and create vector mask. Now select the vector mask layer here and top part of the tower layer and click here. Play it from the beginning and the second animation is done and now we should add smoke effect. If you don't have this you can download it from YouTube. Add this effect and drag the layer between the tower and ground. Place it where the tower exactly is the ground. Now click on blending and opacity. Click lighten and select lighter color. Adjust the smoke effects accordingly. And once it's done, play it. And if you want this effect, select only tower layer. Add this at the end of the first effects. And now click on plus button, add vector mask around the tower. 
once you've done this select first and second layer and click here select particular layer go to effects add effect and search bin click on standard setting and go to end of the layer click on effects and bend add keyframe for angle now go to beginning of the layer click on effects go to bend and set the angle around 48 degrees and now go to the middle of the layer and set the angle around minus 41 degrees now it's done